Hello everyone, let's jump right into it. So according to the title of this video, um, we want to achieve more FPS in this game. Um, lower latency, blah, 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 yada, yada. Um, just before we get into that, um, I want to preface that I do have a 4090 and I do play on 540 hertz. Um, I do have a Intel 14900K and for those that use or have a 13900K or 13 gen or 14 gen CPU by Intel, make sure you guys get your BIOS updated. Um, make sure you insert your power limits by Intel with in between the parameters that they put in so then you don't crash during com shader compiling or uh, crash while loading into maps and all that. So yeah, uh, let's get right into it. So for what I use, if we hop in the practice range here, Uh, for this game, it's pretty optimized. Um, as you can see, you know, my visuals seem kind of Fortnite type where it has really low textures, um, slight reflections such as uh, the sky and all that. Um, but I do run at like a full sharpening. For me personally, um, if you have a RTX 40 series and up, um, I would use native for... The max resolution, I use 100% super resolution sharp, sharpening. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, um, you can use AMD FSR. FSR is as good too. Um, another thing I want to get into is the N NVIDIA DLS range gen. I have heard by multiple resources that NVIDIA does have higher latency than AMD. Um, some other sources do conclude saying that they do feel, even though they have, you know, a hundred more frames, the game is, does feel a little bit and slightly more choppy, even with the higher numbers. So I would test around using DLSS or AMD FSR. Um, if you do have an RTX 40 series card and you don't see this option, um, all you have to do is make sure you turn on hags. So what hags is if you go to your graphic settings here. You go to change default graphics and you enable hardware acceleration GPU scheduling. Um, when it comes to settings like these, um, some I run Atlas OS. Um, some people have said that you know it's worse. It's uh, you get more input lag, um, such as running hags or um, what's called optimizations, or even if you go down to um, game mode. If you have this disabled, if you keep this disabled or enabled, um, test around with that. There, I haven't really found any personal, you know, issues with using these on or off. Um, if you're using like the best of the best, such as like a 98x, 9800x 3D CPU or a 7800x 3D CPU, and you're already getting enough frames and all that, then, you know, you should be set. Um, so this is just why I personally use, I use NVIDIA DLSS frame gen because as of right now, if I like stand right here, I am achieving about 400, sometimes 500, depending on the game or de depending on what I'm doing with my computer. Uh, one thing that I have figured out, if you open task manager while having the game. So we're gonna look at our memory CPU and our GPU, GPU most important. So as of right now, we have, say we're hovering in the 60s, 50s or 60s of GPU usage with frame gen, and we're achieving 500 FPS as currently. But if we turn off, oh, let me keep my cover. If we turn off frame gen, we're gonna put more load on the GPU. Now we're hitting in the 70s, um, higher 60s, Sometimes 80, even 80, depending on the resolution that you're going to be playing. Um, I play in 1920 by 1080. So as of right now, now you can see we're dipping between 400 and 300. I'm still testing around, trying to, you know, find out if it's smoother with native, with these native settings instead of having the frame gen on, which does decrease GPU usage. Um, such as using, you know, more higher settings like these will definitely increase your GPU usage. 
Um, so yeah, this is just what I'm testing out for now. Uh, so settings, you know, all these, this is all on low. Lumen or screen space reflection, you know, just have this all on low. Um, what I have figured out is um, this guy that goes by Riggs, Riggsy Chu. He posted this on X and it's a pace spin with a config setting. Um, I put this link in the description below, but during using this, even with the 4090 or 1400K, um, I would not be able to load it into certain maps and the game would instantly crash. So I would definitely look out for that where um, people here in the description has have, uh, you know, reported saying like, you know, their games can't load on the Loki map or, you know, some HP bars look white. I'll, I'll show you how to fix the HP bars in a bit. But if you go to this tweet, there are, you know, he has put out different um, config settings, which I have up here, such as this one has like 58 lines. This one has 127 lines. I would definitely mess around with these because I, I would play with my friends and I would not be able to get in the game and I'll be like timed out for like five minutes. And it was really frustrating. Um, so let's, uh, for example, I'm using this one as a currently, um, this one has the 127 line ones. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your file path here. You're going to go to your users, your profile, your app dot percent, and then you're going to go into loco and then you're going to go to marble. So you go to saved, click config, click windows, and then you're going to click new and then you're going to type in engine dot you're going to take all this engine dot any uppercase, lowercase. I don't think it matters, but I'm just going to do lowercase because that's what, you know, mostly everyone does. So what this does is, is what Riggs, Riggs, um, said is it messes with the, um, unreal engine five engine settings, not the, you know, stuff in the game. Um, this will modify that. So you're going to click enter and then. Once you go in, open the file up, and then you're going to paste this whole entire thing. And then you're going to make sure to click File, you click Save, exit out that, launch the game. And then those are probably the best settings that you can get for this game. If, um, if you want more FPS, uh, if you want, I would definitely mess around with DLSS or FSR. Or turn this off in terms if you feel input lag if you're you know running on a lower graphics card than I am or a lower CPU, um, I would definitely test around with multiple things because if you use frame gen, you have your GPU is going to be using less utilization. If you don't use um, frame gen, it's going to use more. I don't know why. Um, let's say you have this config loaded in, like I said earlier, you're going to see health bars are are kind of you know, whitish, really hard to see. Um, the best way to fix this is what um, the guy said, is go ahead, turn on AMD FSR. I don't know if you need frame gen, just, yeah. Just turn on AMD FSR, this fixes it, and then you can switch back to NVIDIA DLSS, and then you should be all set for that. So that fixes everything um, with the config. But definitely, definitely look into you know, keep up with the tweet, see what he says. Um, look at the people that have other issues with it. I had issues trying to load into um, multiple maps where the game would just instantly crash and I would not be able to get in. Um, I wish you guys good luck. I hope you guys all enjoy Marvel Rivals. I'm an ex-Overwatch player. I've been, you know, having a blast on this game. Um, I think you guys can kind of tell who I, I play here on... Um, on this game the most i play a lot of characters play a lot of characters but yeah i hope you guys enjoy have uh have a great day and i'll see you guys uh, in another video or something bye now